In February, Arctic explorer Penn Haddo began a major scientific expedition, the Catlin Arctic Survey, to measure the thickness of the remaining permanent Arctic Ocean sea ice. In order to prepare themselves, they followed a gruelling training regime here in the UK, which comprised lung-busting cardio sessions on Dartmoor, where they lugged tyres around the tours in a bid to get used to the kind of unforgiving terrain they'd face in the Arctic. They also did some cold weather acclimatisation in the specially designed cold chamber and immersion pool at the Environmental Medical Unit at the Institute of Naval Medicine in Gosport, Portsmouth. We joined them for a session on Dartmoor, then a day of cold training to get an idea of some of the hazards and hardships they'd have to endure during the survey. What is this called? It's, uh, it's an emergency. It's an emergency. Yeah, so, is there a right way to get into it? Just step into it. So, this is me in my immersion suit. A very fetching shade of orange, I'm sure you'll agree. And um, in a minute, I'm going to go into the immersion tank and uh, discover what it feels like to be very, very cold. Absolutely freezing. It's weird because when I stay outside, I did it. I, didn't, I thought it was cold, but it didn't feel that cold. But now I'm in here, it feels absolutely horrendously cold. I feel like if I let go of anything, I'm going to tip over one yeah. way or the other. You get front pull or breaststroke yeah. because, of course, then you've just got this two-inch critical thing. By going on your back, um, you, you've, you've moved the problem, you know, an extra three inches away from the waterline. Yeah. It's weird. It's got like a shrink, shrink wrapping effect. It's almost like when you step into the water it's like putting on cling film and uh, it tightens up all around your body and um, it, you know, even though it's, it's an insulation suit I still feel quite chilly and the, the sort of acid test is putting your hands in it how long you can stay in it depends on how long you can keep your hands in and when my hands are in the water I'm getting even colder um, and it feels slightly like it's got some leaks in it so um, yeah, don't really fancy my chances of surviving very long uh, in, in, in proper polar conditions really.